All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about a panel change and, you know, how much does it cost? And I wish it was a really cut and dry, easy to explain question, but we're going to take just a few minutes here today and I'm going to cover pretty much every basic scenario that you could cover. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, there's five normal scenarios. Now, there are a lot of abnormal scenarios where you have to move it out of a closet, move it out of a, you know, a space where it's not supposed to be. But we're going to talk about five normal scenarios that are probably going to be pretty typical and you can base any abnormal situation off of these prices. All right, so there's going to be five situations. One is the panel only. So we're going to come into your home and change the panel only. Number two is we're going to come in and we're going to change the panel and the meter socket. Now, when I talk about meter socket, I'm not talking about the little glass part. Your utility company owns that. I'm talking about the outside actual box, the actual meter box. Sometimes we have to come in and put a panel meter disconnect combo. If you notice there that this one has a place for the meter, but it also has a breaker right underneath it. And that's going to be the place where your main house disconnect is at. Sometimes local codes require it. Sometimes the NEC, the National Electrical Code requires it. Sometimes it's just practical to put it there. And another scenario is going to be if we do the panel, the meter socket or disconnect combo and the riser. Now what the riser is, is the piece that's taking the wire up to the service up above. Now you could have an underground service. A lot of times it's going to be through the air and you can gauge your prices based off of your scenario for everything that we're going to learn in this video. So in this case, a lot of times we're going to replace the wire, the pipe, the roof boot, the weather head, the uh, clasping point. There's lots of different you know, scenarios here. And that's why you'll notice that the prices that I give you today have a pretty wide range because there's lots of different little nuances and different things that you can run into. Let's start with our first scenario, which is the panel only. Now there can be a lot of variants to this install. Sometimes your panel may be recessed in the wall. Sometimes it may be surface mount. Sometimes it might have to be moved out of a closet. So there are a lot of things that could really escalate the cost of this install. So I'm going to give you some wide ranges to hopefully cover these gaps. Before we get started on any of these prices, your area may be much higher already pre-COVID. Now we're post COVID in a very inflationary market. So these may, may be very low prices for your area or they may be very high depending on where you're located. And I'm gonna give wide ranges because of all the different scenarios that you could really run into. This one is assuming that the meter socket is in good condition outside. The service riser and wire is in good shape. The wire going from inside to outside is in good shape. And we're doing a panel change only. This job includes the panel change, breakers, properly grounding and bonding the system, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, inner system bonding, and other local code requirements. So the estimated cost for this is going to be eighteen to three thousand dollars, eighteen hundred to three thousand dollars labor plus parts and permit. The estimated material on this one will be in between eight hundred and two thousand dollars. Now this is going to be very dependent on the inflationary market and very dependent on how much your permit costs and just the price of material at the time. None of these scenarios today include arc fault and ground fault breakers. So if any of that is going to be included on your estimate, that's going to add $1,500 to $2,000 more, depending on how many arc fault breakers that you do need. Let's take a look at scenario two, which is the panel and meter socket. And we're going to call this our best case scenario because there are a lot of different variants that could exponentially increase the cost of this job. We're going to assume in this scenario that the service riser and wire are in good shape. The wire going from inside to outside may need to be replaced. We're changing the panel and the meter socket. This job includes panel change, breakers, meter socket, often the wire going inside to outside, properly grounding and bonding the system, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, the inner system bonding strip, and other local code requirements. The estimated costs on this one for labor will be in between $2,200 and $3,500 labor plus parts. It may be much more in your area. I'm just giving you a good idea. I quote three jobs a day, five days a week. So I've got a pretty good feel for this. And the estimated material on this one is going to be in between $1,000 and $2,500, depending on how far away you are from the panel. All right, now let's take a look at the next scenario. All right, let's take a look at this scenario, which is the panel and meter disconnect combo, which is going to be a very common scenario in the 2020 and 2023 code cycles because everything requires that emergency disconnect. And we're going to have to likely reconfigure the wire going into the home. But we're going to assume in this case that the service riser and wire outside are in good shape, that the wire going from outside to inside may and likely will need to be replaced or at least a fourth wire added to it. This is going 
going to include the panel change and the installation of the meter disconnect combo. And the job includes all the other things that the previous jobs had, except for now that we're adding the meter disconnect combo. So the estimated cost for this one's going to be 2,500 labor all the way up to 4,500 labor, depending on how far away your panel is. If it's a very long run, it can increase the cost very quickly or if you have to move it out of a closet, those things can, can really get out of hand fast. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the estimated material. You're gonna have in between 1,500 and $3,000 material on this scenario. Now let's talk about a true service change where everything needs to be replaced. We're changing the panel, the metering system, the riser. This job includes the panel change, breakers, adding a new the metering system, the service riser, weather head, new wire for inside and out, and up the riser, properly grounding and bonding the system, and doing all the other things that we've been required to do this far. It's going to include a lot more material, a lot more time, and a lot more labor. And this is going to cost you approximately in between 2,800 labor all the way up to 5,000, or it could be more if you're in a very one of these extreme scenarios. The estimated material on this one's going to be about $1,800 all the way up to five grand. Like I said before, depending on how far away you are. Just to give you an idea of this current time in 2023, the wire going inside of the house, if you use what's called SER wire, it's in between six and eleven dollars a foot, depending on where you buy it at. So if you're 50 feet away, you can just see what your wire alone is going. Going to cost. Now let's talk about a true service upgrade, which is going to be like, for example, going from 100 to 200 or from 200 up to 400. And this is going to be in the same scenario as the last one where everything needs to be changed. And in this one, it's a little bit tougher because we can't reuse the same holes often. So you know, as an example, on a 100 amp service, you might have a smaller hole poking through the wall going back to back to the panel. Well, you're going to put a new size conduit in and you're going to need a bigger hole. Same thing with going through the roof. Sometimes it's a smaller conduit. So you have to, it seems like there's just a lot more challenges when it comes to actually doing a service upgrade instead of just a service change, which of course reflects on your price. So you're, this one's going to cost in between $3,500 and $7,000 labor plus parts and permit. And the estimated material for this one is around $2,800 to $6,000. Like I said, I've given you very broad ranges because there's so many different things that can really change the cost of this job. When you take a look at adding arc fault and ground fault breakers or dual function breakers to any one of these jobs, it's going to add in between $1,500 and $2,000 just for the material alone. There are so many different scenarios for panel changes, and some of you guys who are super experienced, you guys can drop down in the comments below you know, all the different nuances and all the different things and how it's just that the struggle is real when it comes to panel changes. And there really is no cookie cutter scenario. Every one of them's a little bit different. With that being said, I am the Electrical Code Coach and I've designed these videos to intentionally add value to you. And my bargain is, is that you will in turn add value to others and we can keep it going. If you click on the screen right now, you can actually join the Electrical Exam Coach website for lifetime for only $49.99 and have access to everything on that platform for life. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it.